Welcome back, I'm Rob Lang and this is my game Clomper. You live inside a mechanical ladybird called a Clomper, which you can control by laying pipes to power machines with steam. The outside world is a hellscape that you explore from inside the Clomper, picking up resources and completing quests. If that sounds like fun, like and subscribe for more. It's been six weeks. Strap yourself in for a progress report. Ready? Let's go. At the end of Devlog 55, everything was broken. I had torn out mirror netcode and graciously slapped in netcode for game objects, which is a mouthful. So let's call it NGO. To get the game to build, I added empty stub classes that copied mirror, removed all the unreferenced mirror components, and built a list of all the features in the game. This video isn't going into technical differences between Mirror and NGO. I will do that in the future, but I don't feel comfortable enough with NGO just yet. Instead, let's talk about fixing this mess. I was going to fix the game in the same order I developed it, starting with pipes. But the world needed to exist first or the clomper proxy would fall through and cause all manner of errors. The game was going to tell me what order it needed to be fixed in. Top tip number one, it's easy to get sucked into fixing everything in one go, but I implore you not to. Commit small and often. Even if some parts of a feature are still broken, do it in small chunks or you risk being overwhelmed. I made my dependency tree by scribbling onto a bit of paper all the features and then drew arrows to show the dependencies, but that's a little difficult to read so I tidied it up for you. Let's start on the left with the features that everything needs. NGO, like Mirror, needs a network manager to control starting the host and client, joining and so on. I used a tutorial to help with that bit, link in the description. With that done, time to spawn a player. It's difficult to interact with the world without one. Surprisingly, world generation was the next most dependent thing. Then pipes. But I couldn't do the pipes without handles, because they needed steam, which felt like the next natural step. But steam is dependent on there being fire sprites in the boiler and the handle on the boiler working. So those came first. This was a bit of a quagmire. All of the stations in the clomper, boilers, map, con, legs, periscope, grabber, lift and grinder, all inherit from a class called station. The station class deals with functions that are shared, such as steam calculations, damage repair, and so on. However, inheritance meant that I couldn't update the boiler class without updating the station class, which in turn meant that I needed to change all the stations that inherited from it. The map, the con, the legs, periscope, grabber, lift, and grinder. Not to get them working, mind, just change the code enough so the game would build. This is a drawback of inheritance, and why I generally prefer composition over inheritance. Composition in this case would mean splitting out the station class into their own components, one for steam, one for repair, and so on. I might do that in the future, but now is not the time. Top tip number two, only do one large architectural change at a time. With steam done, I rattled through the map, the con, and the legs pretty quickly. The periscope is a little more involved as it's the first time I needed to do any ownership. That's where a player goes under the periscope and takes control of it. And that's as far as I've got. Left to do is the grabber, scrap, the grinder, damage and repair and questing. Before I made this image I hadn't realised that I got so far through. Questing is probably the largest bit left and I've not done pick up and drop yet, which won't be easy. What the picture doesn't show is that I understand a lot more than I did, so I am going quicker now. That was going well, but I was struck by migraines again, not as deep or painful as before, but I was without screens again for a week leading up to my summer holiday. I like NGO, but it's not swept me off my feet like young love should. It shares Unity's long dead unit codebase with Mirror, so there are similarities, and feels less mature than Mirror, so do expect to write more code. I will do a video on how to convert from Mirror to NGO once I've done the pick up and drop mechanics. Thank you for sticking around. Please do like and subscribe for more. 
Until next time, bye bye.